بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی نیم از محمد سعید الرحمن اینڈ مائی کوالیفکیشن از بی کام آئی ویلکم آل آف یو ہیئر ان دس بیوٹیفل گیدرنگ ود اسلامک ریڈنگس السلام علیکم لیٹ می ٹیل یو دا پرپز آف کمنگ آؤٹ سائڈ سو لیڈیز اینڈ جینٹل مین وی ہیو بین ڈسکسنگ اے ٹاپک ہیپینیس بینیفٹس آف ہیپینیس اینڈ ویز آف ہیپینیس فسٹ آف آل آئی ول ٹیل یو دا آؤٹ لائن آف مائی پریزنٹیشن I have divided my presentation in three parts. In first part, I will tell you what is happiness. In my second part, I will tell you the benefits of happiness. And in third part, I will tell you how can we get happiness. Well, what is happiness? Happiness is a feeling of pleasure and positivity. It is the state of mind. It is the absence of negative emotions. like sadness, stress, depression, etc. Now, I will tell you the benefits of happiness. The first, po first point of happiness is happiness leads to better physical health. Happy people enjoy better physical health throughout their lifetime. They spend less time in hospitals. It also reduces the risk of your heart failure. If you want to better physical health, you should work on your happiness. Second point is it increases your immune system. There is a link between your overall health and your immune system's ability is to fight the disease. Your immune system's activity fluctuates based on how you feel. So if you want to increase your immune system, start boosting your happiness and the third point is it promotes a healthier lifestyle it means happy people are more likely to exercise regularly eat healthy food and when you feel good you are more likely to take care of yourself so if you want a healthier lifestyle focus on your happiness and the fourth point is Happiness helps you live longer. It is not an elixir of immortality, but you will live longer if you lead a happier life. A study showed that happier people were 35% less likely to die than their unhappier counterparts over 5 years subsequent five of 5 years. And The fifth point is it makes you kinder. The relationship between happiness and kindness is in loop. Happiness makes you kinder and kindness makes you happiness, happier. The researcher gave the people some money and asked them to spend it on themselves or someone else. Arzal showed that people, those who bought a gift for someone else, were happier than those who bought a gift for, some, for themselves. Now, I will tell you how can we get happiness. First of all, forgiveness. The secret of happiness is in forgiveness. The system of nature is that if you drop something from height, five or six feet, it falls on the earth. It's a gravity force. If you touch the power wire, you get shock. So Prophet peace be upon him said that if you want Allah to forgive you, you should forgive the people. If you, doesn't, if you don't forgive the people, Allah doesn't forgive you. It is like that. Your car can run 200 km per hour, but you tied it with string. So cut the string, it is forgiveness. And second point is forgetness. The secret of happiness is in forgetness. The child has a fun of forgetness. So if you say, I will remember something like sadness, you can't get happiness. Arzal showed that Arzal showed that those people who 
remember something like sadness can't get happiness if you want to get happiness you should forget someone something like and the third point is that distribution of happiness the secret of happiness is in distribution of happiness it means that if you want to get happiness you should share the things with someone or some people like a moment is that one who shares the thing between the people which he wants so if you want to get happiness you should distribution of happiness among the people and fourth remembrance of allah over trusting is a remembrance of allah if you trust on allah why do you worry so you should remember to allah ala bi zikrillah tatma innul qulub and fifth is to learn something if you want to get happiness you should learn something for example i'm a english student and i'm learning english when i learn something new i feel happy we shouldn't feel ashamed when we learn something and sixth relationship it is most important point of happiness that adults show that people those who live alone expire earlier and those who get better relations and have best friends live long life so if you want to get happiness you should get better relations and have best friends that's all from my side if you have any question in your mind feel free to ask me